In Abuja, the Lebanese embassy says it has stopped the issuance of visas to young Nigerian girls. The Lebanese ambassador to Nigeria is hoping this will help mitigate the rising cases of trafficking in the country. He disclosed this while paying a visit in the company of leaders of the Lebanese community in Abuja to the Minister of Foreign Affairs. Moyo Thomas reports. <laughs> It is the first official assignment of the Minister of Foreign Affairs since his recovery from a COVID-19 infection. And it is to host the Lebanese ambassador to Nigeria and leaders of the Lebanese community in Abuja. The Nigerian government has become increasingly worried at the rate her citizens are trafficked and maltreated in Lebanon. It really became an issue when several videos showing maltreatment of Nigerian girls kept flooding the internet. The Minister of Foreign Affairs, House Committee on Foreign Affairs, and other bodies had made strong representation to the Ambassador of Lebanon to Nigeria over the issue. It has resulted in some quick action being taken by the Lebanese government. 500 stranded Nigerians in Lebanon have been returned. Their return, which was facilitated by the Ministry of Foreign Affairs, was sponsored by the Lebanese community in Nigeria. This uh, synergy between uh, our embassies and our two governments uh, have uh, uh, served the purpose of bringing back these girls safe and sound. 200 other stranded Nigerians are still awaiting the evacuation and the ambassador promises this will happen soon. On behalf of the government of Nigeria, the Minister of Foreign Affairs expresses the appreciation of the federal government at this gesture and also commiserates with the government of Lebanon over the Beirut blast. The minister also disclosed to journalists that a similar effort had been replicated in Saudi Arabia and stranded students would soon return. It will be the first flight bringing back the students and, um, and also some other Nigerians. We got the approval yesterday and then on the 25th there will be another flight uh, by the Saudi government, the Saudi Air, bringing back um, uh, Nigerians, uh, the students again, and some other. The ambassador says no Nigerian was affected by the very devastating explosion that killed several hundreds and rendered homeless over 70,000 Lebanese and other nationals in Beirut. Moya Thomas, TVC News, Abuja.